Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs, and welcome to this new interview with the Grand Master Jean-Michel Berthes. Uh, for those who don't know Jean-Michel, he's a personal friend, but he's also a master in black and white. He's been shooting photography for over 30 years and has specialized over the last 10, 15 years in fine art photography, mainly doing two things. One, having his prints in major galleries all over the world, including New York, Paris, Tokyo or Berlin, and some other places, right? That's right. And also, Jean-Michel has eight books out uh, on different cities. It's a series called The Lights of Paris or The Lights of New York. And now he's working on The Lights of Jerusalem, which is his next book, which will be coming out in the next few months, right? In February, exactly. In February. So Jean-Michel is really uh, an international renowned photographer. And I have been uh, asking, begging Jean-Michel for years to uh, teach uh, the world how he does his photo because they are so popular and he accepted. So a few months back in July, we did the first art and black photography uh, tutorial, which you can see here, which was a huge success. Yeah, I asked Jean-Michel to do this number two and specifically to learn uh, new techniques that uh, we haven't seen in number one. Uh, now, I would really advise people to watch first number one before watching number two because I think it's good foundation to have number one. So now let's look at each photo. This is the first photo, a pretty nice scene, but a very boring sky and a very boring light, right? And this is the final result. New clouds, an amazing drama. So what are we going to learn here? So we learn a lot. My first uh, opinion about this picture is to show to people if you have an idea when you take a picture, then you can realize something very well mm. with some things that look in the beginning boring. Mm. And that is my viewpoint. And after that, of, of course, we will learn how to put clouds, how to have an interesting lighting. But you use the lights that you have on the picture also. Huh? It's mm. not just yeah, nothing. You, you have yeah, to have you, something. You enhance the light that's already there. Yeah, exactly. Okay, great. Now, that's the photo number two. That's the before photo. And that's the view of Etrota, a beautiful cliff by Normandy, in Normandy, which is very famous because it's got this interesting shape. Now, I asked Jean-Michel to do an American night. That's the final result. He's going to simulate the night. And uh, so that's what we're going to learn on this one, right? Yeah, that's right. And it's the same viewpoint. And that is why it's very different with my first tutorial. Here, we are more to explain have a vision when you want to take a picture. And after you have a vision, use the tools that is necessary to do it. And uh, of course, here we will see on Photoshop how we can have an American night. And it, I find it's very interesting because you give a specific mood on the picture. Great, yeah, it's a beautiful, I love the result. I never did that to turn a photo, uh, a day photo into a night photo. Mm. Now the third project is, uh, we went up the cliff and it's basically the Etrota cliff from above, right? And so what's the idea with this one? This one was more about depth. It's very a picture to show how we can work to have a great depth on picture. With the first part, the second part, and you know, everything is very important in this picture. If you have a look on, um, <coughs> on uh, uh, the framing is the first part of the picture here. And mm. it's very important to understand that if you have not this kind of framing or this kind of uh, landscape, you cannot have a nice depth. But after that, how to increase the depth? And that is really what we work on this picture. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think the, 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 the foreground, the middle ground, and the background is very important in that photo. And also, you also change the clouds in this one. Yeah, that's true. Absolutely. Okay, and the last one, this is something I asked for because this is something I've always dreamed about doing. It's a high key landscape. This is the before photo. Now, this is not a raw file from a Nikon D700, like the three hours. This is uh, a scan from his old Cinar uh, 1949 camera, right? That's right. And uh, so it looks like there's not so much change in the before and after, but look at the final result. You have an amazing high key landscape. And that's something, this is some, a personal request because I've never managed to do a great uh, high key landscape. And I think you managed to do one there, right? Yeah, this one is, is funny for me because I had no idea to do that before we spoke about. And uh, because I know you like that, I say, OK, we will, I will change my mind because I have done this picture before in a book, Light of Armenia, and it's very different. Mm. 
And for this one, you will see the technique is it's not complicated. And it's all the same. It's the viewpoint you have on the beginning when you want to retouch something. Mm. And uh, I find it's interesting to have doing this way. And I'm very l happy to have do that for you. Yes. Well, thank you very much. And I can tell you, I know by heart the, the Art in Black number one, because we did it together. And on the number two, you will learn tons of things. Okay, guys, I hope you do check out this tutorial. You will see it's pretty an amazing tutorial. Um, you can even get $20 off using the discount code you can see here. And uh, I hope you do check it out. It changed my way of retouching forever. And I've been begging this man to reveal to the world all these secrets. And it's not finished. We still have some more tutorials to go, but we are well on the way. So check it out and have fun.